No, I'm trying to remember some of the stuff that I put in my notes. Oh, oh for the rules and regulations? No, no, yeah, for that and the other stuff. Were our valves open that way clockwise? Our valves open counterclockwise, right? Which ones? Gate valves. Yes. So you're gonna have to change that in here. Well, that's that's what I said. That's I meant to give you get you guys one of these things so everybody can just kind of scribble that, on it. I think Hatfield's open clockwise. Yeah. I know Bart would used to take all the caps, you know, and flip when you flip it over, and he would have arrows on it. Yeah, I don't know which way the open closed. Yeah, you know, I was thinking in my head. It's kind of clockwise. Right, to open clockwise, open clockwise to close. close. Paperwork. <laughs> I'll have to sit down and, on the couch and just go. Well, that's why I figured I'd right, get you a copy right and through it. Highlighters and markers. And yeah. So I figured as long as we get them done before we read again. Yeah, we'll read again in a month. Right? No, usually October. Oh, what for? Oh, for the. Yeah, if we could get those done before then. Time meters. Yes, for no, time. before we read the meters again. Oh. Is that where we as a you? Or you want to rise around the truck point and point things? Yeah, you just got to drive around. Yeah. Well, not to all of them. There's some that aren't. You got to get out. Yeah. I don't know, eight or 10. Any more complaints from fine plantations about sulfur? No, I haven't heard none. I mean, we should break. I'll probably I should email them something. Well, they did send what you call it out uh, samples. I didn't go in nobody's houses. I just took them out of the hydrant. The manganese is fine. The chlorine is actually, which is weird, but the chlorine residual is actually higher than here. <laughs> Really? Yeah, which I've asked guys. The only thing we can cover come up with is it's yeah, it's getting in the little air bubbles from the reactor vessels and just and then the air bubbles are popping. Because there's no there's no other explanation why it should be higher. If anything, it should be lower. Well, that's why because according to the stuff reading in the recent pilot study about this you know, the, the reactor treatment system, these, these filters, uh, they're supposed to also process hydrogen sulfide. Yep. So where are they getting hydrogen sulfide from? Yeah. <laughs> it's being removed. Yeah. Right. And there's certainly uh, some calcium in the water, so I can see what people would get a little bit of that. Right. You know, not a large amount. Uh, it's not real hard. The alkalinity is not as low, it's not that high. Yeah. So I, you know, where they're complaining from is, uh, <laughs> it's it. They would just say, you know, we're very close at the water chemistry and beats up Jesus out of all of us. <laughs> right. What are you guys doing yeah, down it's, there? It's definitely that? strange. Kelsey, where is it? Where I saw it's 43. That's not right. Hope they don't change the arsenic standard. Huh? Hope they don't change the arsenic standard. We should, these are pulling some out. Yeah, we're right there at that level, oh, yeah. but these are pulling some out. So we actually were lower than we are. Which I think we're, we might be enough where I can actually apply for that waiver. So we don't have to test so often. Do you, do you say anything about turning that on? Yeah, when I get the, they want the tank installed. Unless, the email is saying, unless 
I feel or I call them back or email them back saying, hey, we we really need the volume of water to go up. Yeah. Well, it's coming. Yeah. Other than that, they want the tank involved. So when he comes and inspect it, everything's there. Yeah. And I get to send out, he wants one round of bacteria samples. After we put it online? No, before. Well, why would that? Well, he wants to make sure there's no bacteria in any of the new stuff that got put in before it goes out to the street. So we got to just dump water then, run it through the filters, dump water, and then test? Yeah, and grab a sample out of them and then send it out, get it tested. If it comes back clean, yeah. that part of the equation's good. Then we'll get... <coughs> him he'll come down inspect it and then hopefully get the okay from him and then we can get the mechanical solutions to come down to do the startup the startup along with john wants to be here elm wants to be here when we do it Which everything, I mean, the piping's all done, everything the electrical, they're hooked up electrical wise, except for they're not into this yet. They're not into the SCADA system yet. But the low, the DEP wanted a, the low, a low alarm, low pressure alarm. So that's hooked into the dialer to call. But we didn't, we didn't test it because we don't know how do you explain it what they have it set at or if it's set well once they get here to to do the startup start that's why john wants to be here so once they get here to do the startup we'll learn that and then he'll yeah. put it into the SCADA system other than that that's ready to go then they're here Last week, we were here one day, all day. Because when the pumps went shut off, and then when I shut them off manually and put them back on auto, they wouldn't turn back on again. Something, <laughs> it was a mystery to us. I don't know what did it. Something did something, and it just messed up all the settings. You've run water through the filter, those two filters already to clean them out good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so those are, and they've been sitting, yeah, I mean, I flushed them out to flush that potassium permanganate out and then gave them a real, all the new piping and the pumps and everything, gave them a real high dose of chlorine to, and then let it sit there to, if there was anything in there to kill it off and then flush that out and now they're just sitting there waiting. Well, with all this rain, we certainly don't need them. No, the one- I haven't seen it that high in a long time. That could have been part of, these things weren't in sync with each other. <laughs> now, they are now or it's within two inches really this number is within two inches of what's up what there the tank says. Yep. where when we started that day it was two almost two and a half feet off yeah, i remember that when we went up there but we didn't <laughs> we didn't replace any parts or nothing it was just something happened and I remember the calibration was off. Yeah, the calibration all it. And it, the weird thing is, is everything you had to adjust was mechanical. Yeah. So. yeah, because we were at, one was at 20 feet or something, and the other one was at 40 feet. Yeah, and it was, I don't there's just a whole bunch of weird stuff, because when we, we were adjusting it, the this one down here was always, reading a half a foot less 
But then when we went to put it live, it all of a sudden went the other way and read a half a foot higher. <laughs> Electronics. But yeah, now it's down to, it's within a, no more than two inches either way. So it's back to the pump shut off at 24, going to high alarm at 24 and a half. The overflow starts going out at 25. And then the tough one to figure out when to put on was the low alarm. Right. Because <laughs> if you put it at like 21 and a half feet, without them booster pumps, I don't think, I don't know if there'll be days when these pumps can't keep it at that. You know what I mean? It'll run at 18 or 19 all day long. Right. Yeah, and then it'll be calling you every five minutes. So we set it at 20 for now. We can probably go down lower than that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Once the booster pumps can go online, it, that should be a non-issue and then we can put it at whatever we want. Be interesting to see how the two pumps work together, the well pumps and the booster pumps. And the booster pumps. Yeah. Just added a added a, a, a pressure reducer to my service connection. I know you were telling me that. Oh, that sounds weird. <laughs> I didn't well, think we had that high of a pressure. I got one. I put mine on originally when I did that when we got put the water. Yeah, see, like my grandparents, our house has one. There's a bunch of houses I've seen don't have one. Like your house. I don't know. Yeah, you do. Do I? Yeah. Yep. If you look where your meter is and then go up the pipe a little, right. there'll be a like round pyramid cone shape thing. Got an adjustment knob on the top, yeah. screw on the top where you can. Once in a while, mine will get screwed up. You'd be in the shower and, geez, I got a lot of pressure. <laughs> And mine's like well, it's brand it's brand new. It's got a little, it's got a gauge on it, yeah. and, and and instead of sixty five, I might have even lowered a little more. I'm used to well water, you know. Yeah, your own pump fifties, but all yourself. Yeah, five. and then it varies. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, which, which is where the, the shower valve comes yeah. in, which you use. But it wasn't just for that, but you know, that's I just noticed when first I took a shower, and I was like. There's some half behind this water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my sister in Saudi Arabia, she had a different wa washing machine. When it shut off, I'd say, bang. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's I put terrible. a pressure reducing valve on it and it took yeah. care of it, but she had over 100 pounds of pressure. Well, that's way too much. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a, there's three outside faucets on that house. I went, I got my little, you know, valve uh, gauge and put on the first one and said, it's at 85, and the second one, it's like 87, <laughs> the third one is at 90. Like, oh, Which is weird. They can't, yeah, that's any hydrants, I can never get that much out of. 90. They're usually that's like 65 high. to 70. Which is which is fine. That's still yeah. But, uh, either way, I just. Well, maybe just good. reducing down to the service line, the one inch ups it a little more. I don't know. Well, it adds velocity to it, it you know, but you know. Yeah, it shouldn't add that much pressure. Yeah, pressure. It pressures all the height of, and you know, you got yeah. the level of the tank in there and behind service so you know we're not any lower than I mean, just start with even a little more maybe down on river road yeah usually river road's got the highest but either neither here nor there i just you know that's too much you know <laughs> putting in all the plumbing things here with the bathroom we do is let's put a reducer on yeah i'm sure i'll get a nice it'll be right slipped into the contractor's billing we, what? You know, <laughs> pay for it Got a meeting going on here somewhere here, and yeah, we must go down the list, and then I can get to all the oddball stuff at the end. Are we zooming? Yeah, it's been recording all the time. Nobody's there. No, right. usually not. <clears throat> usually, they watch afterwards. <laughs> well, we can dispense with the old business. I don't, does anybody have any issues with any things listed for old business? Yeah, I can just give you updates if you want, which we might have just did them all. We just did it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so for new business, um, we're just reviewing our sheets for chlorination reports. 
Anybody have any questions on those? Both wells pumping. Well, well number two is the main production well. Yeah. And one is a backup. So yeah. Which you run how often? Once a month or once a week? Every day. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess I can skip to that. We I got the that Wayne Bennett from FW Web came down and put an LMI pump in for the chlorine. Yeah. And it's flow pace now, so especially for the summer, I'm just like, well, I don't have to worry about it now. So I'll just leave both pumps on in case one night everybody decides to use a ton of water yeah. they'll both be on so i just kind of leave them on and let them do their thing now that's what they did, that's what they did. yeah i mean they they, 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 they do our last fairly everything else but the flow pace is the way it goes but I oh it's, i haven't had an issue with it yet it no. just if the gallons per minute drops and the thing drops yeah. I mean, the only thing I think we're going to have an issue with, and he does, is that white, white flaky stuff. <laughs> what did they say that was? He hasn't got back to me yet. He took it with him to sample it, whether it's the sodium in the hypochlorite or if it's the calcium in the water. Yeah. But the thing is, is... I don't know. I got to see what it comes back at first and then see what we can do about it. Because yeah. I hate to go back to using raw water to mix in the day tank because now you just go back to now everything in the pumps going to come up with magnesium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, where the, the old squeeze pumps, you never worried about that because it just kind of take it and push it out. But now with these, with you know, I mean, there's so many check valves and something in there on my pumps. They're just, they'll come up quick, I think. I see. Yeah, I mean, it's that one, I don't know if you've seen it. When I was putting these filters in and had to cut into that, the pipe that brings the raw water into the reactor vessels, it was about a quarter inch stick inside that three inch pipe already. Magnets. And they've only been running, well, come October, it'll be two years. <laughs> I mean the out pipes were clean yeah but the the pipes going from the point of injecting the chlorine to the reactor vessels it was about a quarter eight no i can't say a quarter at least an eighth of an inch what if that'll get scum scum over and stop gaining otherwise it's going to reduce There's flow the over time no yeah, it's going to reduce flow yeah. which I mean, there are enough ball valves in line where you take out a chunk. Yeah, I mean, well, not take out a chunk, but you could throw a, I don't know, what do you call it, a scrub brush or something right down through the pipe. Did it come right? That should come right off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah once you once you leave it for like three or four hours and it dries, yeah, it just kind of you know, bang the pipe on the ground, the stuff falls off. The plastic pipe. <laughs> yeah. The metal pipe they didn't start. Yeah. But the other thing I'm wondering now is seeing that is how, I mean, the only way I'm going to know is taking one of the tops off, but what are all those little, the wiffle balls look like in those vessels now? I bet you they're clean because they, they they're, move always, they're always, yeah, trashing. they're probably discolored, but oh, I'm just hoping there's no buildup on them. Uh, the balls I've seen in those systems before, like they they did have like my iron, they, they were reddish. Yeah, they, weren't, they were just like a fine powder. Well, the original yeah. when we took that, remember we took that one. Yeah, the one top off when you had problems with it was the brown, air. like you say inside. But yeah. right, that, that's when we had all the problems. We didn't know what the heck was happening. Yeah, all the air. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was, no, that was the engineer. Supposed to come. Lucy. No. She just, I don't know. She, probably getting back to the email I sent her last week. Oh, oh, I see. She was on vacation. Well, if you want, I'll bring the uh, toilet tank from the other toilet when they pull it out back down here as a, you know, memento or a, a, a statue to the manganese in the water. <laughs> 
I'll bring you some yeah, fuck in the back of that. your mind. <laughs> Yeah, see, I mean, that's what I always heard. You know, I mean, over time, if it keeps caking on like that, it's just the pipe's going to go from three inch to two and a half inch or two inch. But like I said, there's enough, there's spots everywhere where you can, you know, what I mean, you can use the unions to take it apart. And yeah, because each filter is different. Yeah, you know, each filter and then in line, every ball valve is a union ball valve. So you can just take that chunk right out if you need to. So cleaning them, I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But I was going to ask the other thing I was going to ask them guys is, I mean, for their reactor vessels, would it hurt them to feed water the other direction? Backwards. Slowly. Yeah, you know, I mean, reverse it and then just let it go out to kind of flush them. Backwash it. Yeah, essentially backwash it. Ask them and see if they can do that because they just dump it out in the ground. All right. Yeah, you know what I mean? PDP. Look over that. <laughs> dump it on the ground. Well, you know, it shows you how wonderful that Goshen stone really is. <laughs> it's uh, metamorphic. You know, it's, it's just rocks are necessarily the, the best. Yeah. All right, we need to vote on reappointing. Our water superintendent and our backup operator. So, anybody in favor of reappointing them? Sure. I'll make a motion to reappoint them. Okay. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You still got your job. You got periods this year, too. Huh? You got periods, too. Well, we got to go through that yet. I thought that was something the town said that was good for them. Here we go, approve. Huh? Or set it, I guess I would call it. All right, the uh, personnel committee has set a pay increase um, for Wayne. So we need to approve that. So anyone want to? Yeah, where is that? Um, I had gotten an email like a month or two back on that, and we just didn't catch up with it. Um, I don't, I don't have the figures here offhand, but it wasn't something that the personnel committee like recommends every year for pay increase. They do. Periodically, they well, we update them and compare them to other times. Yeah. No, that's the COLA is voted on by, I want to say the finance committee, the cost of this year it was, I don't know what it was. I think it brought us up like maybe 19 cents or something. This, what she's talking about is the personnel committee. I don't know how they decide who they do every year, but like for mine, the water superintendent to go out and try getting replacements. Well, replacements, yeah. is that what you call it? You know, I mean, they'd go yeah. get, they'd look at other towns and stuff right. and try to compare, but oh yeah, it's, it's like they always say, it's a hard thing to compare to any other town. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody. Every town is different. Okay. Right, the, the system's is different. different. What you the do is, is different. different. You know what I mean? It's a, so I don't know how they compare. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a tough thing to compare. Yeah, well, what they do, you know what I mean? They kind of, that's what they do for their homework is try to find towns that are comparable or that, or job descriptions that are comparable. I have the figures at home. I can give them to you. Yeah, why don't they just put that off for a couple of weeks and have another meeting and then vote on it. Yeah. All right, you don't want to vote on it now? We do. Well, I'd like to see what you can, means. but you can't until you, see you have a number. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have in your head, Wayne? You don't burn up in your I don't see that. Oh, you don't see that? No, I'm trying to just... remember. It's like, I don't know. I think it was, don't quote me, but it was like $2 and something an hour more. 
Um, yeah, we can postpone it to the next meeting. And I've seen that email too. And it was a list. It's like you would know a highway superintendent and various people. Oh, maybe. Right. It's kind of similar. Yeah. But then there's the all fee, the guys working on a truck is different. From the yeah. Maybe and it's one of those it. things that, what would you say? It doesn't have to happen. Hmm. It's just kind of a, a recommendation. You know what I mean? Um, if you don't do a little bit each year or every other year, it's all going to mount up and you'll get four years from now. And geez, we gave them a $5 raise. That's quite a bit. Right. So, like you see, comparing towns, it's, it's like the system, system complexity as well as system size. I mean, yeah. you've got a treatment process here. Another town with the same system, the same amount of use might have nothing. Right. That's why it's one of those things. It's, it's very hard to compare to anywhere else because it's Hatfield, South Deerfield, it has to one one T one D. Yeah. Now is your license good enough for Hatfield? Or no? no, I think they, they gotta be a two. Yeah, they bigger. gotta be a two. So they got could be two one on T and two on two one D. Right. Yeah, I would say they're easy because I know Deerfield is definitely. No, yes. I would say they're twos. Now Sunderland, do they treat their treat their water any or no? I'm trying, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't know. It just comes right. I mean, out. everybody used to go, right? but they consider chlorine treatment. If we didn't add chlorine, there'd be no treatment here. Well, magnets more words. You're not treating it with any. It's just saying. It's still a treatment process. Yeah, I guess so. If you could get, I guess so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, one See, me, I'm always thinking treatment is if you actually. You got to mix something and then you're adding it in. <laughs> As a rule, in general, uh, water softening and disinfection don't get you a treatment license. But as soon as you step beyond that, you're in a treatment license. So right. Those things are treatment. You do have a process to monitor, you know, compounds yeah. you add to Which I guess you do because you do treat them with that pot perm or potassium permanganate to begin. Right. You never add it again, but you do it once. Water softeners are just like home basement things, so nobody thinks much of them. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I've seen quite literally, I mean, a school once in Southeast Mass, guy had a, a the magic black vessel there somewhere and the water was going in and I said, what's in this thing? We put the top and top off it, it was empty. <laughs> the, the water was literally going through the treatment process that was put in there that nobody ever used it for. It going through the tank. <laughs> 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 All right, I have the figures. Um, it's a 3% salary increase and it's $2.93. Okay. An hour or more. Wow, pretty hefty. Yeah. yeah, get you up into the living wage world. <laughs> so, now is that for Billy too? No, it just it's shows just the way. No. So I don't know if they do. I've not, I haven't seen anything. For well, anything. I don't know if they do backup operators. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if they just take that as an operator. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> that's something you'd have to ask them. Is backup is by the hour or how it works? Yeah. It just see, it does just like I am by the hour. So I'll make a motion to give Wayne a two dollar ninety three cent raise per hour. Okay, we'll vote on it now. Right. Yes. Second. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sumi's with it. <laughs> well, after the firework display, you're in there. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I have another thing to throw in, even though it's in. It well, is wait. On there. Yeah. Wait till the end. Oh, you want to wait to the end? Yeah, that item's unanticipated. Oh, okay. Unless it has to do something with salary. No, no, no. we're all done there. Um, all right, so the PFAS test P. results. Now, I'm sorry. <laughs> they crawl out of woodwork in the last five years. I'm trying to find somebody. Maybe he comes. No, so <laughs> I, don't, it. I don't understand how to read them things. I'm lost. Did you send it to us? I don't know if I did or not. But I saw, I saw. I'm taking it as 
Excellent. Yeah, I'm taking it as the one, the company I was involved with that was sampling them sent me an email saying this will be our last correspondence. And I haven't heard nothing from the DEP, which these got sent to them. So I'm taking it as you're good. Well, it says, let's check that out down there. It says that Mass DEP PFSA report form submitted with lab report new. Well, they didn't send them to him? Mm, that's correct. I don't know if they were sending them to him. Because I thought the guy said they were sending a copy of these to him. No, check the box. Yeah, no, I. <laughs> so maybe I'll send a copy to him. Now, this is the PFOS test? Yes. There is it. one that came back with something in it. It does say that Mass DEP Dream Alert Program test, staff technical assistance providers, staff technical assistance providers, will be questioned either both staff I have reviewed the attached lab analysis report and associated Mass DEP forms in accordance with quality, quality control criteria and determined that public works fields, the public water supply field sample to be accepted. So it says it's accepted. <laughs> it's Mass <laughs> DEP forms, so they've got it. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm so confused on like this. Maybe my best thing is I'll, uh, I'll email Catherine, which she's the one that does the lead and copper. And I guess she's the one they put in charge of <laughs> this as well. Something else to do. Yeah. And just ask her if they got these results. If not, I can send them to them. Yeah. Because I don't, as far as I call it, it's just no big deals. Right. And I'm pretty sure because come October, this is a regular scheduled thing we have to do now. Once a year? No, I think it's every quarter. Another testing procedure? And, and it's not cheap. Of course this not. one was on the house, right? Didn't the DEP pay for this one? This one, yes. This was that pre which I believe, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure this one is usable for our first one, first round. And is it going to be that extensive? Same thing? Every time? Yeah. Yep. No, but it it's just a new scare chemical. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is there so minute, they just came up with this. How many years? Not that long ago. What do you think? Uh, I thought I remember seeing the thing. This all starts with Pease Air Force Base in Portland. Yeah. We have stuff. It all kind of started and they had problems with that. Well, there was a special on TV about that, about DuPont and their Teflon, yeah. where they knew about all this back and DuPont just kept making Teflon because they were making such yeah, a Yeah, they all know. And there was another company, I forget what it was, and they didn't want to get involved once they found out the Teflon was giving off this. Well, that's it. That's why, like the Teflon people were using the filters is yeah. one type you can use that the stuff i was using that yeah. but it's going to be the blue stuff but it's going to be a certain brand it's something they say oh here you go mm -hmm. I when you're in grad school many years ago i'm guessing it's probably it's gonna add a, it's gonna add thousands to each year of same lot. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, you got to have the waiver process something. They always throw in waivers. Right. We're well, the thing is we don't know. I mean, nobody's got an answer on because it's so new. Yeah. You know, I mean, how many you're gonna have to do before you can apply for a waiver? Yeah, I would imagine years or at least hmm? by years or Probably. I remember when Frank first came here, he was talking about that. Uh, yeah, I'm down to Boston. Yeah. yeah. All right, any more further discussion on the testing? All right, the next thing is the update on this emergency plan operation maintenance manuals. I'm meeting with her next Wednesday. Okay. So I'm gonna start that. And I asked Doug if that they would be all right with me 
said it because to turn these on, I have to send him an updated copy of both of them within, I think, 90 days after that's done. And then same thing with the center. So I asked him if it'd be if they would be okay with me waiting until the center one was done. So everything was done. And then I could send them one copy of the updated stuff instead of breaking it up. Yeah. Updating it for this. And then once the center goes online, repeat doing it again to update it for that one. So update emergency response plan, MEO and M plans to account for having that every addition. Yeah. To the system. And he it sounded like in his email he was fine. I just had to give him a date of when I thought that would be done by. Was there any scheduled day for starting construction of that? We would have started a long time. It was still just waiting on the easement. Is there any update on that? Mm -hmm. Nothing. We do not move very quick. No. So once we get the easement, then it'll got to go to zoning. And then once that's the, they're in the final two steps. Yeah. Acquiring the easement. And once we acquire the easement, then go to zoning. If zoning passes it, then we can start. The pumps are ordered. So those are, I didn't even ask them in a while. I couldn't shoot them an email and see when we're looking for a ship date for those. I would assume they're gonna look just like what we have out here. Yep, they're just one, my guess is one skid is gonna be little smaller pumps than these out here. And then the other one is gonna be bigger pumps than what's out here. Well, that's where they were talking about two different heights, I think, right? The inlets and outlets will be the same height. Oh, they are. Okay. It's just the skid units themselves, height-wise, will be remember, different because of the pump size. I remember he was talking about jacking them up a foot. Because of, well, you can see why now. Because when we hook this one up, then flanges are, they're only that little bit off the ground. Oh, okay. This one was easy being all plastic pipe. That's why he was saying lifting them because, yeah, I mean, we're going to bring that cast pipe out of the ground and you'd rather leave some room than put that 90 right at ground level. Well, what we can do is just pour the floor, a six inch floor, and then if we have to pour another one on top. Like we did here. Yeah, yeah just make a, a bump up. Yeah, it's easier than trying to do it all in one shot and we, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think is gonna be the easiest like here, just pour the six inch floor and then Afterwards, you know, I mean, like you did here, just give it an extra foot or two around it, right. and then just pour another one on top of it to bring so, the pumps up higher. Also, if we got to do a minimum charge on concrete, we can just do another pad outside. Yeah, out there or wherever. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, as we got an apron. It's in the plans for an apron out the big door for that building. Yeah, but a small, I think it's only four foot wide or something. Right. But you know, I mean, we could save instead of pouring that apron with the initial floor, just save that for and pour, pour a bigger one so you can drive up and not step in gravel. Right, but you can't you can't do that. <laughs> you have to go back through planning and everything. Yeah. And just ask for yeah. Well, we talked about that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we can just save that for yeah. when we pour those extensions and you should have more than a minimum. All right. So I think we've talked about uh, the center booster station, pumps, filters, treatment plant. Can you have more discussion on those two items? No. And the other, the next item would be the pine plain water quality. Yeah, that, like I said at the beginning, they came back, the manganese is no different than down here. The chlorine's good. It's, like I said, the chlorine is actually a little higher. I read, I read this comment stuff, sent. I went through all their comments, and a lot of it was like, where are they getting this? I mean, some of them, some of it's legit, but. I don't know where they get. I mean, I, every once in a while, I'll get a little hydrogen sulfide gas out of it. I pull the drain out and it keeps the sink. Yeah. And it could very well be part of the septic tank. 
or, or you know, where the sulfates in the water, the water quality could find. There's some sulfate in the water, according to the, you know, the, the uh, pilot study that was done. But, you know, 28 is that high? I don't think so. I mean, sulfide is supposed to come out of this process here. So yeah. where are they getting that? I don't see that's really much of an issue. But the, you know, where are they getting calcium buildup? There's not that much calcium in the water. There's a little bit. We get some. We all get yeah, it. Yeah, we all get it. Everybody yeah. on their shower heads and that, you get yeah, that you little film. Some. It's not a lot. It's not like that manganese issue was. Uh, so I don't know what they're complaining about. I really have a hard time with saying chlorine. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty left in there. So there should be no, you know what I mean? To kill everything off. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know uh, if it's, it's worth it. What, you know, what can you tell them? It's, we looked at. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know. Is it worth getting a couple samples from the water in the houses? Well, there's no difference really between the house and the street. Yeah. No, so, but so you know what I mean? Maybe get a sample out of one of these faucets that's doing it. But is that particular faucet consistently doing it? It sounds. Or is that like, random? Well, sound, it sounds like from that letter they sent that it seems like it's that faucet for them all the time. And then right? some of them say that, you know, like let's use for example, it's the kitchen sink. But yet if you go in your bathroom, it's not there. Right. It seems to be so is like it zeroed related? into one faucet or something at each house. Is it faucet related? Could be, I guess. People, who knows what you know? Like a garbage I mean, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of weird that it's random. I mean, it's not like you can go outside and smell it at your outside faucet where your hose connects on, or not smell it there. Yeah. If it's in the water, it should be everywhere, not random. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't tell you. It'd be something. Well, I mean, it's, is it worth? I can email. I think it was David who was the one that was sending this stuff and see if he'll jump on the next meeting. No, we well, need a little bit more detail as to. Well, that's what I'm saying. Instead of us asking these questions and trying to guess on the answers to these questions, you know what I mean? They, he, maybe he can answer them a little bit better than I can. Yeah, I think we need a follow up from him. All right. Because I mean, you're providing the water that gets to the taps. I mean, it gets it gets to the curb stop, basically. It, it's 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 all you are saying. The town. Yeah. Uh, what you, what happens in their house? We don't. You know. Yeah. I mean, if they've got a garbage disposal in the kitchen sink and again the smell of the kitchen sink, I'm pointing fingers. Yeah. Get rid of the garbage disposal. The problem probably goes away. Uh, it was something like that. I don't know. You know. Right. Well, really, you get a smell out of the sink sometimes. You the turn it on for the first. I don't know, 10 seconds or something, yeah. because it's coming in one and it's coming, the scent is coming out the other drain when you got a double scent. Especially when it's warm outside, too. Yeah. Well, well, you're making that, that, that air bubble in the yeah. track. Yeah. yeah, you're taking it out. And there could be some hydrogen sulfide in that or some of the sulfates convert. I don't know the chemistry of it. You know? Yeah. I mean, just like the calcium, you know, calcium will, will precipitate out when you get some oxygen, so you get yourself the white, white, the white stuff. Which you know you can use to mop up the countertop every every time you need it. Otherwise, you're gonna have a white countertop. <laughs> but I haven't noticed in our shower heads. You know, it's not. It's we've been two years and it's not accumulated into anything. Yeah. Else. See, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't accumulate as much now as it used to before these filters got put in. Because you pull out. Yeah. Before the filters got put in, they get. Yeah. I mean, at least what? How often would you clean yours? Oh, quite a bit more than now. Yeah. Well, you just take the shower head and stick it in that CLR and you That's see stuff. it bubble. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's not, it's not as bad at all now. Well, most all the shower heads are rubber, so you just run your finger across them. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a little <laughs> brush. And you'll see one that's not P, P and L. And you <laughs> it with your finger. That's what they do. Right? It's just, perfect. Yeah, you rub your finger that way. <laughs> All right, so I'll send and shoot him an email. Yeah, that we need a little bit more detail. Well, see if he can jump on our next meeting, or even if more than one of them want to just. I mean, more than glad to talk water quality with him. What's you know what we you know, they need to know yes. about what we're what did what we're dealing with, the whole system deals with, 
and, and what we do to fix it. And then you've got whatever happens there. You don't have any control over it. Yeah. You know? And people are putting on filters, they don't need to. So what I would heard from, they're putting on trying this and trying that. What are you doing this? It's pointless. But yeah. they're doing it anyway. Yeah. They want to throw a water softener on, it's not going to help them any. Yeah. You know, and the people putting on, uh, you know, some sort of uh, carbon filters. I think they're putting. They want to put a carbon filter on a point of use that might help. Yeah. All right. The rules and regulations. Um, we all have that information. Yes. And yeah. I think what we're going to do is <clears throat> table it for now and well, bring it back up at one of our next yeah. meetings. Well, no. Like I said, I'll just keep that on. Old business or whatever. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll just keep it on old business on the agenda every month. Well, we can take it home and review it. Yeah, review it. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, just keep it on the agenda every month as a, know, a working thing. Yeah. Where are all the finances in the office? Where's everything financial about this? Billy kind of knows everything. Like, what do I want on it? Well, we start talking about changing rates or altering rates. It's like, you know, we well, got one day out. Where's it go? I kind of stuff. Maybe we get any budget. Hey, you want? I can pinch you that. Uh, yeah, me and Billy, I mean, we can get more in depth with it because we, Billy does most of that. I mean, I got to do it too, but usually he'll come in on Mondays and Tuesdays. and uh -huh. That's kind of his job. Yeah, he'll like that. Because I like to learn more about it. Because if we're going to play with rates, we have to, we have to give the public a reason why to do it. Right. And you know, and the thing that jumped out at me looking at the usage data is uh, most of the water in the system goes to Yankee Candle. They're huge. huge. Yeah. One point four million. It's them. I mean, the big farms. users are them. There's a couple farms that are right there in Bear or. Covestro. Yeah, they changed their name. Whatever they are, it's Yankee Candle. Uh -huh. Yankee Candle is a huge amount of water. Yeah, yeah I noticed they're putting new pipes on their own. Yeah, chiller. I'm going to bring that up in, in a few minutes. Yeah, it's a chiller, I guess, is what they're putting on. Whatever. I see you took a water rates. When I looked at when I looked at all the data you gave me, Wayne, and then it had all tied off the top of my computer table. But you know, the residential usage is a small proportion of the water consumption. Yeah. So even though irrigation, people irrigating in lawns is quite a bit of you know, water, the big user of the system is the candle. Well, that's one of them things. Like I said, we just, it's always been, what you want to call it? One rate per right. thousand gallons, right. where most other towns will have, I don't know if you call it a tier structure or Different ways a residential it. rate, uh, an industrial rate, uh, an ag rate. You know what I mean? Uh, bringing up that Yankee, then that you brought it up now. Um, that system is going to have six-inch ductile on the roof, along with different size pipes. And I don't know if they've come to the town or not and offering permits or what, but. I don't, I don't and if that system to. is hooked to the fire issue, the system that goes through, they will not be paying for any water use because there's a fire area there there's in the a front. Fire, fire loop around. The yeah, fire. that they don't actually pay for the water. Well, um, nobody does for that. But the thing is, we don't know. Well, this is something we need to know. Yeah, I can shoot. Somebody an email. I now, guess. What, is, what is this chiller going to do? This is for air conditioning in the, yeah, in, in the building, in the, in the work area. Uh, they're going to re recycle they're at, in the, the water, front. They, they already know, got it structured for a new a chiller works. Uh, building that they're adding on to the one that's already there. I saw the construction there. Yeah, well, they've added on another, well, it's a little bit bigger than this, but um, area in which that chiller is going to be put in. So it's a matter of, is it connected to our water meter or are they going to use it on the fire side and not pay us for using the water? Never finished printing it all. <laughs> now, Deerfield Urethane has got chillers up there to cool their 
plastic. Uh, the plastic yeah. in that. But that's all it is, is basically they take the water, it's it's a closed circuit, yeah. and they spray the water up in the air, and the air cools the water off, mm -hmm. and then they recycle it back. Yeah, to the right, machines. which I imagine it's the same kind of I setup. I would say so. Set. So maybe they take 2,000 gallons of water, they put it in the system, and it's a closed loop system. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I I'm can't, asking. I can't see them, you know, keep using fresh water yeah. over and over. Right. You know, just but you're, the other thing you remember, it is a big pipe going into their building for the domestic water. I can't see them using fire, you know, off the fire loop. But do I don't know because it's all on that side. There's no right. doubt about it. Yeah. it. It's on the fire loop side over there. So, and I mean, we're talking six inch pipe up on the roof. They're not playing around. They're, they're, they're just, so I, just, I have no idea how the system works, yeah. but it's something that, you know, we need to have some information back from them. Like even like a nuclear power plant, you see those yeah. big things like that. That's all that is, is cooling the water. Yeah. And of course, they lose a lot to evaporation too. So yeah. They got to keep putting water yeah. back in it. All right. How about the magnesium filter project? That's, we kind of went through that. Yeah, that's kind of talked about. You know, we covered up. Waiting on a tank. That kind of goes with that, right? Yeah. And then the rest of this, well, you talked about the, the telemetry. Telemetry. Westbrook. Yeah. You didn't yeah, get a Westbrook's project? No, I'm still finished trying to do the paperwork to get that. I guess a variance on that so we could put the generator. Okay, so you're still working on that. And uh, what about water meters? Why did I put that on there? Oh. Who was I talking to? You? Who are you? No, I don't know where I put it on. So I was over at Berkshire Gas. They wanted to move their meter so they could put a shelf or something. I don't know. So I was, I was just curious. So when he took the meter out, I just took the bottom off and it, the screen wasn't plugged, but the meter would hardly turn. It's a manganese. Yeah. I mean, I don't, that's the only reason I'm bringing this up is I don't know how many more are like that, or if well, maybe they, it's theirs more because it's a, they're at the end of the line and hardly did, use any water. Did they get a meter update when we put all the meters around? Yeah. They did. Yeah. So that's got gummed up since. Right. But like I said, I don't know if, how many more are like that. No. I mean, there was a house right up here that he called me and I went and his screen was plug solid with chunks. Black chunks. Yeah. <laughs> but that one, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just bringing it up because it's like, I don't know how many more might be turning slower than they should be. You know what I mean? Well, you Could be. Look, look at the usage rate and everything and see if it's the same over there. That's so hard to. Well, if we randomly, let's say, took a few off of. Well, I was just thinking, I mean, we're kind of, well, we're not spread out, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I go down and I was thinking of going down in my basement and pulling the the yeah. gut out of it and see what that looks like. Do you want on Long Plain? Yeah, go find there. somebody on Long Plain Road and just pull the yeah. gut out and see what it's like. I mean, maybe it's just one of them things that because they're at the end of that eight inch main and they hardly use. I, I mean, they they move like 2,000 gallons a year only through there. It's just a bathroom probably in the water bubble. Right. No, they won't use it for drinking. Yeah. No, it's, it's so nasty. Because they're on the end? Yeah, and they don't use it. Yeah. So I actually told them, watch them up. I said, I say, because none of these ever get flushed because when I flush, the last one I flush is out there. Yeah. That pipe going in doesn't. Right. And they're off that eight inch pipe going in. So they're actually, we're talking and don't I guess they're going to. They might be building a new office building or something in there. And I told him, I said, if you got the money to, I said, it'd be worth 
tapping the main out at the street and running a separate one inch or three quarter inch line in here. Don't they have a sprinkler system there that you could flush it with? What I told them is, what's wrong? I said, once every couple of weeks or something, I said, just, I gave the guy my cell phone number. I said, just shoot me a text or call me when you're going to do it. And I said, just open that hydrant right outside this building for five or 10 minutes. Is this? Berkshire Gas. Across from PVGA, down on Long Plain Road. By the cemetery. Down by Fairview Farm. <laughs> we're back in the woods. So we can't yeah. Really see yeah. You know, I mean, they're on... There's a 16 inch main going to the intersection, then it carries eight inch down and then an eight inch into their complex and they're off for their drinking water that eight inch pipe. And like you just said 2000 gallons a year off an eight inch pipe ain't doing it. <laughs> so yeah, so I just told them, just let me know when you're gonna do it and I'll let you know if you know, I mean, as long as there's enough water in the tank or that, I mean, open the hydrant up for five or 10 minutes every couple of weeks or so and move some and change the water over a little more often. Yeah, I think they got some kind of sprinkler system there to spray the tanks if there's a fire or something. Mm -hmm. I thought that was when they- No they water. Went to huh? No water on that stuff. stuff. Uh, that, that, that's nasty, yeah. that's bad. It's like, it'd be like dynamite going off. <laughs> no, um, everything there is something they talked about a fog system. Right? Yeah, everything there is all chemicals. Yeah. The, what it is there is the water comes in and it used to come into this room and they had a foam system. And then the water went back out, and there's out of that room, there is two pipes that left there. One went out and there was four hydrants on it that was on, say, the town system. And then the second pipe went out, it went around the building and then through a pump and into four other hydrants around the pits over there, which were just strictly foam. But they took the whole foam system out. Yeah. So, I mean, the reason I was over there is they want me to look at, wanted to know if they could take the backflow out because it failed and they want to know if they had to re if they're going to have to buy a new one and i'm looking at it it's like no, just take it out i mean you're not injecting anything anywhere it's yeah. no different than a water main out the street on the street with a hydrant attached to it that's essentially what you have now so you're going to need to pipe Bring water they don't use. <clears throat> huh? They're gonna need eight-inch pipe bring them in water they don't use. Right. Basically. Yeah. The only ones that are, and I mean even the hydrants, what they're trying to get rid of is say us on the fire department having to go, if one of them tanks ruptures or if they're a fire, to actually physically have to go into them gates mm -hmm. to set all this stuff up. So they bought all kinds of stuff for the fire department side to stay outside that gate yeah. and spray foam if we need to or whatever we need to do. All right, another question. Are all, I guess. Meters working? Yeah, all, is everybody hooked up and all meters working everywhere? Two. You know one of them, I'll get there. And then the other one, I will write up a letter, I guess you call it. For the medical one. Well, then there's three. <laughs> no, the one that I had no record of it and Lynn had no record of it. And when I got into the house, they just kind of put a ball out coming from the street and the house in. <laughs> <laughs> Whose house was that? I can't remember which one it was. It's in Pine Plains. They got no meter. So they don't get a water bill? Well, then let's, if, if you need a well, ladder no. or. Right. Well, no, I think we should. Personal stop. Because I told the guy, I'm like, he's like, 
And he did ask. I said, yeah, I could put a water meter in now, but it would mean you have no water in your house because I can't connect your pipes to the meter. You know, get a plumber for that. So I told him, I said, just the cord right there. I said, give me, get a plumber. And I said, this is my cell phone number. I said, when you get a plumber, call me and I'll get here when the plumber is here and we'll put the meter in and then he can connect it back to your house and you're off and going. I haven't heard nothing from him. Well, I think that was your follow up and yeah, like three months ago. Yeah. Two months ago. Because so uh bill for ten thousand dollars. Huh? Ten of a bill for five thousand dollars to the system. Well, he's gotta get that still, because we haven't got that. How long is the house? This it was a new new one. It has been there that long? A couple of years. No, no, not even that long. Did they pay the hookup fee? No, we have neither one of us have any record of it. Well, then the next <laughs> thing is the water's going to be shut off. That's why I said well, I'll write up some kind of letter. And um, see, I don't know how you guys. I mean, it sure should be the chair of the commission. <laughs> we just usually the chair of the commission is the one whoever's term is up. Are we just like we have been George hands our chair? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I figured the way I think I was uh, going to handle this, I'll write up some kind of letter. Me and you will get together right. and we'll write up the letter however we want it and we'll send the letter to them. I heard the plight where you tell me, hey, you, 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 know, you weren't officially connected to the system. Right. So we are going to we, shut you off unless you form it. Who turned the water on at the street? Must be in the contract there. She, you know, some of those guys aren't very scrupulous. <laughs> Which, when I asked him, when I went there, he didn't know who it was. He didn't know who the contractor yeah. was for the house. That's what he told me. Buy oh, a house. house. <laughs> He's been on the ruse. <laughs> All right, so we'll follow up with those. What right. is it? Three houses or yeah. four yeah. that? So you can a meter and a connection fee. Right. And, that and need to uh some two years worth of water water so you give them a bill, a generic bill or right. right. But see, that's where that's I nice. think these come into play. You know what I mean? They're all in the project. It's one of them things. Can we just do that? Or you know what I mean, without having a well, rating fee schedule. You know what I mean? Technically, our only rating fee is per thousand yeah. Yeah, but they're illegally hooked up. Yeah, don't read those because I don't think those mean anything. No, I know. I saw the, uh, I saw the, I saw the, uh, yeah, I mean, there is a part in there for illegal hookups and everything. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a big thing we got to hook up to you 5,000. All right. You know, I mean, that's where I think I'd like to get these done by the next time we read. And then, yeah, I mean, once, you read the meters, you know, I mean, you just put on these things, okay, this starts on X day, you know what I mean? It won't go on to, those won't go on to this meter. It'll be the next one. All right, do we have any other business? Anybody got anything else? Think so basically, we need to get through these before we meet again. Yeah. Those? Yeah. No. Well, I we think should, we should get them set in place. Well, the sooner the better. I think if we could get them finished by September, and then we could have a public hearing in September, which would put them into effect before our October yeah. reading. Mm -hmm. Or not into effect, but Right. All the legal stuff will be done, and then once, and yeah, once our October reading happens, then now they're in effect. How long before a public meeting you have to post it? Two weeks. Yeah, 14 days. So it's the middle of July. That's the for our next meeting. Well, us, all of us go yeah. through it. So yeah. We can, well, we can yeah, I mean, if we could go through them by the next meeting, and then, which would still give us another month before the following meeting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then that last, so I would say two meetings. 
the second meeting from this, unless we want to have more meetings, but I'm just figuring monthly meetings. Mm -hmm. The meeting in September would be nice to have them finalize. Well, I think if everybody makes their comments, yeah, I'm sure and then we get together, it wouldn't yeah, take too long. I'm to sure go there's through. stuff I missed that yeah. we would, what we're going to need to add, or there's, like yeah. you said, George, there's some wording I, that's I just backwards. Saw that. Yeah, well, this isn't going to take too long to go through all that. No. I mean, to me, the big one to get done by then is that rate and fees. Yeah, the fees in the back. Yeah, I mean, if we don't get through all the rules and regulations, that's fees by that. Right. Now, you got the water rate there separate, the water users separated. Industrial and city residential. I, 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 you want it? I, yeah. I, I can email it to you. Yeah, why don't you? This is very long. It's very long, but you, you have a nice summary at the bottom. And I, and I went through all it. Has the color code. I don't know if I can. I don't know how to do that. I'll, I'll send everybody the the a summary of, of the. Yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't know how to That'll just take better. a section of a yeah. of a spreadsheet and print just that section. The spreadsheet's big. I use the computer though. You know, I was surprised. It, the ag use isn't as much as I thought it was going to be. And I, I didn't, I didn't can. I was like, well, I didn't know when you can use the water. <laughs> well, the other oh, yeah. tough thing is with the ag. Well, it's mainly the greenhouses, isn't it? They're using it. Yeah. But they're tough. Like, do you consider chain farms agriculture? Or do you consider Norris farms agriculture for what they're using it for? Well, you know what I mean? Or is that commercial? So some of the commercial. Well, I think you have to cross over. I, I think what it, if you guys look at these and then see if you agree with me on what I have for ag, I mean, you won't know the things, but you know what I mean? You two will know the businesses when you see the different colors. Because some of them I do, some of them like change are Norris of that. I think I have him as commercial. But yet he's a farmer. Right, but they're making agriculture is commerce. Huh? It, it is a commercial operation. Right. That's there's it's even tough to be de balloon farm, even your long plane farm. Right. That's a commercial operation. Right. That's where there's a tough, it's a tough to decipher who's ag, who's okay. commercial. What is the zoning board have been? As a farmer or what the zoning it'll be either ag or commercial ag or industrial ag yeah. you know what i mean it's a very yeah, it's, different game. it's, it's different. a tough thing to split yeah but every farm is commercial you're not farming. Some are industrial <laughs> yeah but every <laughs> farmer isn't it you know what i mean for the commercial aspect of it um yeah, you know I mean that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, it's tough to figure out who is actually agriculture and who is commercial. And if you look at the DB's definitions of commercial or agriculture, it's like everybody kind of fits into the commercial one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why the ag might be lower because I have a lot of the farms probably in the commercial one. Yeah, you probably do. I, I just came in, you know, recently. I saw a three by five card just sitting there by the table. I left it. And all of a sudden, I go, oh, you got to take this. <laughs> of course, I didn't take it. Uh. Looking for it. Yeah, I'll send it to them too. Oh, it's Oh, that's what you look at. Yeah. This is at the very bottom of it. You have some stats that will cumulative. Oh. Is, I guess, I got to back up here a little bit. Is it necessary to define? Yes. Commercial and agriculture? Yeah. I have to for 
the what do you call it the EAS or the annual statistical report. I gotta write down how much water went to ag, how much went to residential, how much went to industrial, how much went to hotels. <laughs> That's why I got it all broken so down. So the only college. one that really is a problem is the agriculture, um, like bear or whatever you call oh, it. Right. Now, yes. They're commercial. Yeah, they have nothing to do with farming. No, but yeah. it's a tough one. Yeah, you yeah, to split it. They said you could almost consider every farm as commercial. Yeah, they are. Yeah, but you know, in, 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 in government statistics, I think ag use is something that's you know growing product, food, food products basically. Right. But you know, and so is full blown farm because they're growing flowers, but they're in a greenhouse, but it's an agricultural endeavor. Uh, this happens to be commercial. You see where it's coming from, but they want—they're want, they're trying to see well, how much, how much acreage, or how many, how much waters would be going to raising crops. Right. You know, it's. If, yeah, you know I mean, if, which if right next door to it, if right next door to Smirovsky's farm was a factory building where they canned vegetables, that's not an agricultural use. Or is it? You know, that's where you get. It's a right. processing plant. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, most none of our none of the farms in town actually use. The water for irrigating. No. Greenhouses, yes. Greenhouses. Most of them for washing vegetables. Yes. Yeah, I mean, none of them are using it to irrigate the field. Right. It's for processing. It's commercial processing of the product. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's where it gets That's where it gets touchy. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see those, but way down the bottom. At the bottom. Yeah, these are all your totals. Okay. Are you sending and that was that was I for uh, and it was for a couple of years when it wasn't all yeah this is since i started keeping track of all this i think it's since i started this i'd have to go way back up top this yeah, see, but this is this would be the total for last year and this would be the fall reading and then the winter reading and then that was this past reading so that's why you have very few industrial users and it was 3 million plus, you know, the commercial. Yes. It's all, there's a lot of fold in, but the, then the you know, residential was black. It was a lot. Okay. That, that's not, I don't 24 know that. million. Okay. So last I'm, year. Last year. So I'm, I'm totally wrong about that. Never mind. I have to go back, look at what I written up. Boy, I saw what I saw. Yeah. I don't know why those didn't save. I'll get those yeah. back in again. <laughs> Let's go back and look at it. But yeah, it's so there's a lot of yeah. Like I said, it's a tough thing. The ag would go way up if you considered all the farms, none of them commercial. Yeah. It'll go way up. But I don't That's know. That's why I was asking, what does the zoning board say that a farm is? Is it a farm or is it a commercial? Yeah, but zoning doesn't say what the business is. Yeah, it's zoning just zoning just says oh, firm. Yeah. Well, it's by whatever the so land is. Things. Yeah, the land's being used as agriculture. Yeah. Yeah, whatever the land is zoned at. Is it industrial ag? Is it commercial ag? Is it ag? You know. Yeah, it's a tough. It's not like a fine. You know, I mean, the black and white, yep, this is agriculture. <laughs> well, you as soon as you, I mean, the way you really, if you look at the definition, as soon as you're producing something to sell commercially, the public, which is commercially, it's your commercial operation. <laughs> which dairy farm is what people see just the dairy farm. Right. <laughs> that's, that's kind of where I, a lot of the definition New Englanders had as well farms and these things that dot the hillsides with these cows. Right. And you know, it's like, no, it's it's trucked a, off to a process. Yeah, it's like, so they're not really producing yeah. anything anywhere. As opposed to this valley, which is very much commercial agriculture. Right. Industrial ag and, and all the accoutrements that go with it. Yeah, so you know what I mean? I guess you could technically have a good argument for there's really no water going to agriculture. <laughs> Yeah, you don't eat flowers. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some people probably do. Yeah. They do. <laughs> All right. I make a motion that 
We terminated our meeting. Second. Okay.